Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2. Write the vision. Make it plain that he may run well who reads it. Write the vision. You know, back in 1953, they did a survey of the graduating class of Harvard University. And when they surveyed that 1953 graduating class, they found that only 2% of them had goals and dreams that were so well-defined, so crystal clear in their mind that they'd written them down. Now, that doesn't mean that the rest of them didn't have goals and dreams. It just means that they didn't think that it was necessary to write them down. A lot of people feel that way. They're like, I know what I'm planning to do. I know where I'm going. I don't need to write it down. Well, see, the fact is that if you don't write it down, then you can change the game plan halfway through the game and nobody knows the difference. But if you write it down, now you have to do it. It's sort of like the story I heard about this guy that was at church one Sunday and the, at the end of the service, the pastor had people come forward for prayer and he's going through the line praying with people and he comes to this guy and he says, what do you want me to pray with you for? He said, well, I'm going to quit smoking. The pastor said, oh, that's awesome. So he started walking up the steps to the platform and the guy said, wait a minute, wait a minute, what are you doing? He said, well, I'm going to go up here and get the microphone. I want to tell the whole congregation this is a wonderful thing that you're going to to quit smoking. The guy said, don't do that. Then I'll really have to. <laughs> and that really is the way that a lot of us feel, that if we announce it, if we make it official by writing it down, now I have to. And that's the truth. When you write down your vision, your goals, your dreams, when you write them down, now you have to do something about it. In fact, let me tell you the difference between a goal and a dream. A goal is a dream with a deadline. Dreams never become reality until you give them a deadline. It's not just what do you want to do, what do you want to accomplish, but when are you going to get it done? Sort of like the old boy said, one of these days I want to take the wife to Hawaii. Get her one of them flower layers around her neck. By the way, the other day I was down at the store and I saw they got those new four-wheeler ATVs in. Come deer season, I'm going to have one of those in the back of my pickup truck. Now one of those was a goal. And one of them was a dream. The four-wheeler ATV is a goal. It has a deadline on it. But taking his wife to Hawaii is just a dream. No deadline. We don't know if it'll ever happen. You need to give yourself specific enough goals, not just dreams, that you put deadlines on them. Not just what do I want to accomplish, but when do I want to have it done? In fact, 20 years after they surveyed that graduating class from Harvard University, 20 years later, 1973, guess what they found out? The 2% who had goals that were so well-defined that they had written them down had accomplished more than the other 98%. Why? Because they wrote them down. God's word is right. Write the vision. Make it plain that he may run who reads it. See, if you don't know where you're going, why run? There's no hurry because I don't know where I'm headed. I'm not sure where it is. But when you know exactly where you're going, then you get in a hurry because you know where you're headed. You know how to get there and you're in a hurry to do it. 
I want to give you a message that I preached based on the life of the youngest king that Israel ever had, Josiah, who became king at age eight. When he was 18 years old, he turned an entire nation to God. In fact, after his death, God said that no king before or after him had ever sought after God like he did. What caused this young man to be transformed into such a mighty man of God? He learned his destiny. I want you to have this message so you will be inspired to find God's destiny for your life. If you'd like to get this free audio CD or download it now as an MP3 file, just visit our website, markgorman.com. And on the home page, click the link for the free audio. And if you live in the New Orleans area, come visit us at Grace Christian Center in two locations. On Saturdays at 6 p.m., we have our North Shore service in Slide L at 3648 Pontchartrain Drive. That's Highway 11. And Sundays at 1130 a.m., we meet at 1301 Battery Road. For more information, visit our church website, gccnola.com. Thank you, and God bless you.